What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, from the game. Here, welcome you to another episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we finished up Trial 3. We had a crazy resolve. Kimiko let loose, and she deserved it. That girl was on the hot seat when she didn't need to be, and at least we came to a rescue. At least I did. That I, I got to edit that entire trial back, and it was so funny watching me be like, it's not her. It's not her. Like, continuously. Like, I'm sorry, but I can't. I refuse to believe. It's like, damn it, my boyfriend's rubbing off on me, but it's fine. Um, we got a load game. Speaking of boyfriend, boyfriend decided to freaking scare us. Um, and I don't know how I feel about it. But we're going to get all into that nitty gritty as we head to the next chapter. Chapter four. I cannot believe we're already at chapter four. It's just, it's scary. It's scary to know that we're on chapter four, you know? You know, you know. A few days ago. Oh, God. Hey Wait. There. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? What? Rontaro? I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Y yeah? Yes? I'm so glad I still remember your voice. I I didn't expect to hear it. Um, hi. Guess I should start from the beginning. Yeah, explain yourself, comrade here. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case. This killing game will continue until there are only two people left. He knows all of this. Now the important part of that rule is that... Oh, there is one more thing. It's cutting! I, I, we expect, I, you know, they can't give you all the expose. Oh no! Well, the truth is, this isn't your first. What? Anyone who finds out who you are is going to come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. And never forget. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. What? No matter what. There's so much to unpack there. Live and let the languid world live. Daily life. Oh my god. Okay, that is a lot to unpack already. Oh god. <laughs> we wanted it? I... This could mean multiple things. Like, that could be like an expose to the people. Like, to the people like that... Uh, the, I... <laughs> I love Danganronpa for this stuff because this is the perfect thing to get my wheels spinning getting into a freaking new chapter. Because what is Rantaro talking about? Why is Rantaro doing this? What, like, the heck? Rantaro is back in some way. Like, there's already a lot, which is awesome. Okay, the morning after the third class trial, after walking or waking up from the Monaco announcement, I headed to the dining hall as always. God, this is the point. Uh, um. This is where it starts getting crazy. Our cast is so low. I didn't see Gato, but I'm assuming he's behind Shuichi. But good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, there's a dark mood in the air of the dining hall today. That's to be expected. With what we've been through, though. It is. In a situation like this. I don't see how we can all be possibly... Or how we can all stay possibly... Or how we can all possibly stay enthusiastic. Reading. Very important skill. <laughs> yeah, okay, I didn't see God. I, I, God to being the one that I actually recognize not being there. Well, with two exceptions. Yo! 
What's wrong, bro? Are you not gonna eat? <laughs> uh, if you don't eat, then Gato will eat you instead, Shuichi! Huh? Huh? He'll eat me. Do you eat for, like, my breakfast? You know... Speaking of Gato, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. My guess is he's out investigating the rock that he saw in Chapter 2 or Chapter 3 to see if the rock, like, changed again, which it probably did. That's my guess. Hmm. He's not here yet. Hmm. He's probably still sleeping. Ah. Uh, Mew, what's wrong? Uh, tell me. The atmosphere is heavy. Everyone's really taking a, a mental beating. Hey! You guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're still teenagers. Wow, ah, yes! Oh my god, Himiko. I can actually, like, change your voice a little bit because you actually have some pep in your step. And we're here for that. Huh? Himiko? Okay. Your good mornings are too quiet. It's because you're quiet that you feel down. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Mew. Hey! I didn't mean you should sigh louder. Weirdo. Weird. As I thought you would be more depressed. At, they're the most depressed out of all of us. Hmm. Of course I'm depressed. But this is the most depressed I've been in my all my 200 million years. What is this? 200 million years? What? But being depressed won't help those who died rest in peace. Teko and Angie too. If they stay depressed, if I stay depressed, they won't be able to rest in peace either. Okay. So in order to make their deaths have any meaning, I've decided to live my life full of posi positivity. So oh, anyway, uh, please to take care of the new me. Come on, man. Oh, you're out of breath already? You were going at full speed right out the gate. Yeah. But it's just like Himiko said, none of us, uh, those of us left, those of us left need to look into the future and live for all the others' sake. Right? Then let's cheer up and hard, <laughs> and work hard. This game's just getting started. Huh? Game. Oh? Huh? Isn't that what we're talking about? Uh, but now there's like less people and I might be the next victim. Oh my god, Kokichi. Wow. Wow, it's so exciting! Uh, I, but I definitely don't want to die! <laughs> well, I guess that's the same for everyone else! <laughs> Always messing You're around. still saying crap like that at a time like... Just then, the door to the oh, dining hall burst open and Gata, 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 Gata... This big problem. Everyone... Yes! Yes! Man was investigating the rock! This is serious. Uh, can I, can I, oh, I was gonna try and use the actual thing. Ow. Oh no, the Colossal High School girl's on the other side of the wall, isn't she? Uh, <laughs> that doesn't make me think of anything in particular. Oh, oh, maybe not that serious, but Goto went to Courtyard before coming here. Could it be? The graffiti was more added to it. Mm. Yeah, more letters added. Exactly what I thought you were checking. The word what? is this world. It's not this world is this world is I'm not sure if it's trying to spell the swords or this world. It's it's this world. Wait. What about this world? Does it what does it mean? Is there some crazy story going on? Hmm. It's probably just for graffiti, right? We should just ignore it. No. No. I don't think that's a good idea. Do you want to die? Huh? What? All oh, right. That's just a habit of hers, but my heart skips me every time she says it. Because no one takes, or no one here takes credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. It must have some form of meaning. You know. So seriously, none of us here have wrote it. If this is a prank, you better speak up. But. But Gonta stumbled upon the writing by coincidence, right? If it was a prank, then they would have done it in a more obvious spot and not in the grass. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, it's like little titty no one wants to fondle. 
Oh god. Like a little titty no one wants to fondle. Oh god. Mew. Well, it could just be Gaunt is riding it, since he's the first one to find. Gaunt never do that! Gaunt never make trouble for everyone! It's ungentlemanly! What is this writing? This world is something and then a massive word. More and more gets added. Who's doing it and what does it mean? Well, I don't get it, but it maybe it's some kind of clue. Well done. Thanks for the report, Gonta. Mm. Gonta just glad to help. Oh yeah. Gonta want to help even little. Tell Gonta if you need help with something, okay? Okay. Okay, got it. I'll let you know if I want you to punch somebody. <gasps> no, you do not get to tell Gonta what to do anymore. Gonta. Oh, Himiko. Girl, keep this up. I am actually like at a rave like for Himiko and I'm here for this. Yeah, Gonta learn lesson after insect meet and greet. Boring. Hi, Monokuma. Hmm? Woohoo! My ears are burning! You are, guys are all talking about me again! You must love me! Oh, Yay! are you getting dizzy from the face I made when I concentrate really hard? Actually, your face, it's always the same, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind that! You guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is! Right? You guys can't live without getting a prize right now, right? That's what I thought, so I brought a prize! Oh god, Monokuma. Oh. I didn't think that would have hit me as hard as it did not hearing Mana and Om's voice. Oh. Not hearing Mana and Om's voice in that? That shouldn't hit me that hard. That shouldn't. But it does. Why does the freaking Monocub bear affect me the most in this video game? That is something we got to fucking question. All these human people have died. All these human people have died. Right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, understandable. We even had best friend die literally last chapter. No, Monodom still affects me the most. Like, <laughs> explain. <laughs> I don't know, okay? I don't know why Mononom affects me the most, okay? I don't get it, but he does. And that hurt a lot, not hearing his voice in that. Okay, but <laughs> like grief and remorse have to be over. Anyway. <laughs> Rise and shine, Ursine! Yeah. Huh? What's an Ursine? Oh. oh my, forgetting your catchphrase is like the kiss of death for you, mascot, you know? <laughs> That's because I'm a mascot, get it? Not that. that wasn't even a joke! There's no setup or punchline or anything! Mm -hmm. By the way, who's the pink stuffed pig? Who and why is she talking to me? Wow. Monotaro. Monotaro's head is busted! One solid rock should make him remember! Where am I? Where's Kaoru? What? Your character is completely different now! Pops, my family, and you, thank you for loving me! Come on! Remember already! <laughs> They're so uh. them forever no i've had about enough of them hey hey hey, hey uh, give up i'm loving or give us some loving too uh, i want my reward already uh um, when did you get so friendly with monokuma kokichi now then okay okay the prize this time is Priceless Octo Brush and 
Oh, that feels intentional. That is so intentional, Danganronpa. You got the, the freaking marker stone from Tenko's death. You got the brush from Angie's death. And you're going to get something from freaking Kyo. Which just so happens to be the motive too. You did not get something from best friend. Automatically upset. Two, Monophane, excuse me. You are not handing me a motive this quick into chapter freaking four. Motive? Hey. Did you say motive? Yeah, this mysterious card key is your next motive! How oh, nice! The classic carrot and stick approach! No one can work a carrot or a stick like daddy! Uh, how do you know this? Huh? Screw your carrot and stick! Give me whips and chains all the way! True. Anyway. You know... The a card key is the motive? What does that even mean? Hmm. So, the new area you can only open with a card key. That is that where the real motive is? <laughs> That's a secret! Why don't you use it if you're so curious? Please wait. No, we shouldn't. If we want to pervert or prevent another murder from happening. <laughs> Yoink! Then I'll take the card key then! Kokichi used his little body to his advantage and took the card key from Monokuma. No can do that! But, 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 the Monokuma motive... What if another murder happened? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind that at all, you know. Damn! Huh? What? Because? Because this is a killing game, and where are the players? Plain and simple. Why wouldn't uh, the players play the game? Don't screw around. Quit screwing around and just give it all, or give it no to way. us. <laughs> no thanks. Uh, see ya. Okay. That's enough! Wait up! Kokichi ran out, out of the dining hall, pursued by Kaido. Running in the halls is not abnormally allowed, but I suppose boys will be boys. Yeah. Yeah. I also forgot to mention this, but I've hidden another flashback light somewhere. <laughs> I wonder Enjoy. what memories you'll uncover next! Happy hunting! Happy hunting! So long. Farewell. I don't know why I feel bad. Yeah. Huh? What's so long farewell mean? <laughs> you forgot that too? Come on, let's go. Bye. So long, farewell. <laughs> I'm not gonna get over that. I, I am not gonna get over that. I don't, I genuinely don't think I'm ever going to get over that. And I got to make sure that I don't comment on it every time it happens. Because, oh my god, I will be a broken record. But, it, it, it hurts. Okay? It just does. Um, what should we do? Kokichi and Kaido are gone. Worried. We cannot leave Kokichi alone with that card key motive. What? But, aren't you curious about the flashback light too? That's true. Perhaps we should all search together. And look for Kokichi as well. well. That's a good idea, but let us focus on Kokichi while you focus on the search. Logical. Right now, we need your such skills as a detective, Suichi. Then... Right. In that case, let me hold on to that. I'll look around again. Yeah. Yeah, Suichi's all grown up. He's so reliable. Uh, now that you're so respectable, I will put... I will let you pet me if you want. Whoa. I'm sorry, but whoa, Himiko. Actually. Oh, I see. So Suichi gets that honor? <gasps> what? Is it happening? Dude, honestly. We're, uh, wow. Mm. Suichi is so amazing. God don't want to be useful to everyone, too. It's okay. Don't worry. When the time comes, we'll use your body as the meat shield. Hmm. Okay, got to hope time comes soon. No. no, you shouldn't hope that it. You should hope that it doesn't come. Fair. Okay, where to begin? I'll search for a place to use these mysterious items. What in the world? 
Oh, hanging scroll. Another floor. A staircase. It seems we can go upstairs from here. Hmm. A fifth floor, huh? How many floors does this school have? A lot, clearly. <clears throat> Hallway to the fifth floor. This is crazy. Samugi, we need to talk about this. Hey. This has a completely different feel from the fourth floor. Huh? That door over there is just plain suspicious. Could it be? What door? This one? Oh, hi. Hi, Maki. Weirdo. There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Don't chapels usually have these? Hmm. Yeah. This place makes you feel like there's no god. and <laughs> But then there is. Is that a coincidence, just a, or is just Monokuma's sense of humor? This door looks like an ultimate lab, but whose lab All is right. it? I should check inside, just to be sure. Ultimate? Oh, it's ours! Huh? It's Shuichi's lab! What? Is this? That's true. Looks like this is your research lab. Okay. It is right. Well. Let's see what's in here. I but I got a bad feeling from this place. A bad feeling. Chemical shelf. Oh God. Bottles line the shelves behind the glass door. Are these? Wait a minute. It looks like poison. I knew it. So you think so too, huh? That's true. There's no way that can be a normal medicine in a detective's lab. She opened up the cabinet, glass door, and peered inside. Mm. Yeah, I know some of these are definitely poison. Then... In that case, we should try and dispose of them. We don't want anyone to accidentally... That's the point. Even if we got rid of them, Monokuma would just replace them. It is so useless doing that. Like, it would be only be a temporary solution. A temporary solution? She wants to make sure no one will ever be able to use By them. By the way... Even so... I am surprised that there are so many in here. There's poison from instant for instantaneous deaths as well as ones for that inflict various symptoms. Depending on how you use them, you can set up different gimmicks. But it doesn't feel like an ultimate detective's lab, more like a criminal lab. I see. It's fine. It's a fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. I suppose that's right, but there's a fine line between criminal and detective. Yeah. There definitely is. What's on the bookshelf? Hmm. There's a bunch of books lined up. It looks like about 50 of them. What are these files for? I picked one of them up at random and flipped through it. Huh? <gasps> it contained photographs of murder scenes and tricks the culprits used. Huh? What is this? I hurriedly looked through the other files and found they were all similar. You don't know? It's a file containing all the tricks used for murders. That's... It appears so. Well... Did this incident really happen? No. I can't be for sure, but there are pictures of the scene. And all of these cases seem feasible. Mm. Feasible, huh? Then this would make for a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit a murder. I'm kidding. Well, I doubt anyone's that stupid to use a file that is accessible to everyone. Maki picked up the file at random and started flipping through it. Got a minute? Huh. This file doesn't have any photographs. It's all just drawn illusions, but... Huh? Or illustrations, but... Illustrations? Maki began pulling the files one after another off the shelf. Okay. The newer files have a photographs. But the older ones have illustrations. Uh, but why? Are the old ones just fix fictional? The first few files only have only illustrations, but the others have photographs. Is there a reason for that? Probably. Anyway, I've investigated all the places that have concerned me. Hmm. Everything has to do with this death. Because. Well, your job as a detective, especially in this killing game. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. A detective can't save anyone. I'm only useful after it's too late. Do you want to die? Why are you upset all of a sudden? Huh? You would just kill me for that? That's right. Nah, I understand why Maki Roll would say that. Your face looked pretty gloomy. Kaito. 
with a face as gloomy as that, I can't believe you're my sidekick. Keep your chin up. Be more proud of yourself, Shuichi. Everything you've done up to now is amazing. Uh, okay. Thanks. That's true. That's why you should be careful. Huh? huh? What do you mean? You don't know? Because of how well you did in the class trials, future culprits will have their eyes on you. The next culprit might have to come after you. Huh? Come after me. Don't worry about it. Hey, you don't need to worry about that. I won't let anyone mess with my sidekick. Yeah, ye here's the problem. You won't let anyone mess with me. I can't stop people messing from you. That's the problem. Leave it to me. I'm gonna protect both of you. It's a hero's job to protect his sidekick. Don't understand. What if I end up a future culprit? Huh? Are you stupid? That's impossible. You. How can you believe in people so easily? I believe in you. I didn't. Uh, didn't I tell you before? I believe in people I want to believe in. And if they betray me, it just means that I made a bad call in believing them. <laughs> of course you're the one of the people I want to believe in, Maki Roll. By the way. Why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Kokichi? Jeez. I lost track of him. I can't find that guy anywhere. Uh, um... Couldn't find him, but he still has the motive card key, right? Ah. Yeah, he should still have it. There's a chance that Kokichi could have it, used the card, and gone somewhere. Yeah. He ended up getting away, but uh, look what I found! Got it. It's a flashback light! Uh, you found one? Of course! I'm worried about Kokichi, but I think we should deal with this first. So let's all gather in the dining hall. What? Huh? I'm coming uh. too. Wait a minute. There are other places that I want to check first. Can you can I meet up with you later? Uh. Oh yeah, um then I'll go ahead and or uh, go ahead to the dining hall. No. You're not gonna ch check this place? I believe in you. I'll let Shuichi handle it. You got this, right, Shuichi? Uh, um... Yeah, right. <laughs> Then once you're done, come to the dining hall. You. You didn't even complain. You seriously are his sidekick now. I can't argue with that. I, I, what I love is Maki is just like, you didn't even like say anything about it. You just kind of let him believe it. Yeah, uh, Kaido's one of those people. You kind of got to do that with, honestly. I From what I've... What, from what I've gathered from Kaido. It's just better to let him believe things. <laughs> I know it's mean, but it's so true. I just... Kaido is the kind of person that I would just let him say whatever he wants to say and then just be okay with it. This looks like an open lab. It's the cosplayer's lab. I should check inside. That's why Samugi's here. That makes sense. Hmm. This is amazing. It's like an event venue. It must be the ultimate cosplayer's lab. Uh, um, even with all these materials and tools, it, hmm. if it... Or, what? I totally thought I was able to read it all that quickly, and I just failed miserably. No! Let me... There we go. It, our materials and tools, if it's by myself, I see. Cosplay is fun to do with others, yeah. right? Yeah, there's no point in doing it myself. Do you want to try? Hey, Shuichi. Do you want to give it a try? Come on. And try cosplaying uh -huh. with me. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just a plain fun to become fictional characters. To become a completely different person and feel like you're part of a different world. Right, right? Doesn't it sound interesting? Don't you want to live in the fictional world? But I'm investigating right now. All right. Then let's do it later. Uh, let, me, let me know if, when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or you game. Can't. However, even if you are just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with your love, with uh, love. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got, you can't do it like, you can't do it without that. That's important. Miko wanted. No, I wanted to see that. Wait, this is a set of photo shoots, huh? There's a bunch of backdrops here, with an incredible setup. Filming set. This is another place, another set for photo shoots. It's quite a gothic feel. The bar. This looks like a bar. Is this a set too? Yeah. Well, what do you know? It's just like the real thing. Simigi spoke cheerily and sat down at the table in front of the counter. Hey. Hey, Shuichi, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you like. Huh? A signature cocktail? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. 
I used to make them a lot of my part-time job, so don't worry. It'll be non-alcoholic, of course. Then... Okay, then. I'll take one. What the heck? How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? Hey, I am. If I'm having a drink, it's getting. It's gotta be strong. Huh? Uh, sure. Wow, you're good at this, aren't you? I don't drink often, but when I do. Yeah. Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. Nice. I used to say to my customers. I'm in a bit of financial trouble. If only someone could help me out. This girl was begging for tips. What? What is this feeling? I suddenly feel charitable. Okay, it's ready. Thank you. What kind of part-time job could she have anyway? Mixing drinks like this? Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> With those thoughts swirling around in my head, I drank the drink Samugi handed to me. Shuichi. Please come again. Okay. Yes, thank you. I'll be back. With the, I like that. With those thoughts swirling in my head. Oh, Shuichi. Because I can just go like this. But it is <laughs> intriguing. I, I must have to come out from this direction. Even less green than, uh, than last time. There's still maintenance going on. Hey! So what's the deal with this place anyway? It's like a kind of... What kind of facility was it before? Mm. Are they renovating an old facility? Perhaps constructing a new building? Mm -hmm. At the start, Monokuma said that they were supposed to be facilities for Back us. All, well, that's obviously a lie. That plush bear is stuffed with lies and shit! Well, yeah. It's hard enough to imagine they built this entire facility just for us. That's right. Also... I also think Marakuma was lying. He is an exceptionally deceitful being. Uh, um, being. Well, he's a robot, isn't he? That's robophobic. Shuichi, you have been robo uh, been a robophobe this whole entire time. No. No, that's not what I meant. Uh, but when we finally... When will, when will we finally learn what this Ultimate Academy really is? Why does it exist? Is it really just a place for us to have a killing game? She's staring at Tenko's lab. I should leave her alone. Hey, Shuichi. What is it, Shuichi? Don't stare at me too much. Yeah. Or it'll be I'll become even more beautiful. Uh, um. I, I see. Is she embarrassed about something she said Ew. herself? Did it look like I was blushing? Yeah. Huh? What? You're right. Before no one could tell that I was blushing, right? Ah, that's right. I remember. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Really? Oh, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but Himiko, or, or know this is Himiko when she's mad. No, I was just blushing. What? From your own compliment? Okay. Yeah, you looked a little embarrassed just now. <laughs> okay, then I'll keep at it. Himiko really is trying to change. Good job, Himiko. Good girl. That, I don't know why I said good girl like that, but that's, I did. What an amazing character. Anyway, she's getting better. Like, I definitely chapter the trial too. I was really like not having it, and then I definitely have had a bit of a change of heart on Himiko. If I could figure out what I was doing that would help. Um, <laughs> it sure is quieter now that no one's yapping about a two of this and a two of that anymore. I knew that fucking midget was running a goddamn cult. Uh. I mean, if there really was a god, he'd obviously make me the gorgeous girl with genius, the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kooky fucking bitch. Dude, I, thank you. We needed that. Poor Angie, but yes, we needed that. Hmm. We haven't come across Kokichi at all. I wonder where he could have gone. I knew it. If he's not in the courtyard, he's inside yeah. somewhere. You're probably right. He's apparently Kokichi is quite good at hide and seek. If he's serious about hiding from us, finding a way to prove or finding him may prove quite troublesome. <laughs> troublesome? What is it? 
Why do you look so surprised? Uh, uh no. How it's about nothing. this? Please tell me you don't need to hesitate after all. We're friends. Then, well, I just thought perhaps a robot would or could find a human. That's robophobia. Shuichi, are you even trying to hide your whole robophobia anymore? Wait, really? <gasps> Anyways, Shuichi, that black object over there looks suspicious, doesn't it? The one with the red border. See, Kibo, that's why I talk to you, because I don't know what the frick I'm doing. Black object with a red border. Somewhere. Black object with a red border. <laughs> that looks suspicious. Oh, this right here. <laughs> I knew I was going to be able to find it immediately. <laughs> this is why we talk to Kibo. Kibo helps us out with things when gamers being dumb. Whoa. Is this Kaido Slap? <laughs> the building just combined! <laughs> what did you do to my lab? Uh, it's coming in super deep! <laughs> Thank you guys for not commenting on that. I'm glad I'm okay with this. Da -da -da. I'm positive this is strange building is an ultimate lab. From the machines and the sci-fi feel, I deduce this is Kibo's lab. Oh, Kibo's. All right. I'll check on inside. I would have expected. Yeah, it is. Okay. It looks like the maintenance room for a robot, where machine parts are everywhere. This is definitely Kibo's lab. Yeah. There's nothing much in here. And just talking to them. Oh, it's according to this. Hmm. Whose lab is this? Huh? huh? Isn't it yours? No way! I don't want this. I don't like this sort of sci-fi technology. Can we leave now? Is that all right? But I imagine that a lot of things in here would really help you out. You should take a look. <sighs> no, I don't want to be assisted by sci-fi technology. We shouldn't rely on the power of sci-fi for anything. Wouldn't that include you, Kibo? That's right. Anyway, I would prefer more Japanese themes since I like food, uh, I like that food the most. Unfortunately. Even though I only can stare at it. How could you prefer the food? <laughs> at the very least, I like some kimonos in my lab or a porch w and with some wind chimes. Uh, okay. Y yeah, that would be nice. It doesn't seem like Kibo is going to use his lab very much. Well, he's free to do as he pleases. Nothing I can do about it. Hmm. All right, finishing investigating all the items this time. <laughs> Kaido should be waiting in the dining hall. She should gather everyone there. Literally only had to talk to. <laughs> I spoke with everyone and told them to gather at the dining hall. Oh, they had to speak to Kibo. That's funny. After a time, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Either Kibo just did a really good job at deceiving us, or we're out here for Kibo. I mean, I'm out here for all the guests. Let's be real. Um. All right. All right. Looks like everyone's here. Let's get started. Ooh. Oh, what about Kokichi? Ugh. Forget about him. It's his fault for messing around like that. Mm. I guess, but he must be a real pro at hide and seek. With my magic. I magically looked all over the entire school, but he was nowhere to be found. Uh, magically? Hmm. No one could find him, huh? Hey. He might have used the motive's card key to place, to enter a place that we are unaware of. Hmm. Do you think that that's where the real motive is being kept? Either way, it is more worrisome. Yeah. Well, next time I see him, I just gotta catch him and ask. Anyway. Let's get to our flashback Actually, light. I'm still a little uneasy about these flashback lights. Are they really okay to use? No. Well, if we don't use them, our memories will never come back, you know. Right. So we have no choice but to use it. The memory we'll get from it is our only clue. Seriously? I agree with the fish sticks over there. What did you say? Who are you calling a chunk of bread and fish? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? What I love about that is that the way that I enunciated that I can absolutely, like, I feel like I'm having a genuine conversation with Himiko, because I definitely enunciated that more like fish sticks. So, <laughs> that's funny. That's amazing. <laughs> Someone who looks like a canned tuna! You make for pretty good comebacks. Yeah. Who are you calling a wad of shredded fish? What was Wait, that? Kokichi. Hmm. I knew you'd find us here. 
only because it's you. You got me. Thanks for the compliment. We're why are we all married? Or why are we so why are we all married friends gathered together? Uh, Is that all right? Well, first things first. What did you do with that card key? Ah. Oh, so you're worried about that? Relax. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't use it. Huh? You couldn't use it. Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea where to use it, so I just gave up instead. But you don't seem disappointed about it at all. Not being able to use it. I am disappointed. Damn it! I wanted to use that card key. I smell another fucking lie. Yes, we do. Cut it out. Smell another fucking lie. I can't. I, can't, I don't know why I can't do freaking Muse voice right now, but whatever. Talking to him is a waste of time. You know. We got more important things to do. Ah. Oh hey, a flashback light. Let me see that. Kaido doesn't have the balls to, uh, balls to turn this on the switch. Of course I do! Egged on by Kokichi, Kaido thumbed the switch hard. And once again, the world warped. It's been a while since we had one of these. The scenes that flew inside my consciousness, and what it all means. All at once, I remembered. Ah, uh, the meteorites! What happened with the meteorites? I remember TV news and the internet talking nonstop about those meteorites. What was that? There was a bunch of damage where I lived, and people said it was only a matter of time. Reese said that too. Similar meteorite impacts have happened a million years ago. All living organisms on Earth were annihilated. So there was a bunch of weird groups that started to show up in the streets too. As the meteorites got worse, more people started saying it was the end of the world. I'm going to hear that too. Unless someone does something, the world will end. Those people were always handing out flyers on street corners. I saw flyers all over the city, too. They said, Mankind deserves damnation. Mankind deserves damnation? I remember seeing those posters, but... Hold on! And the meteorites? What ended up happening with the meteorites? That's... We haven't seen any of them since we got here. Maybe they died down? What? Then what happened to the plan? The one to save the world from the meteorites? Could it be? Oh, right. I just remembered that. It's called the Gopher Project, right? What? It was a plan that all the countries of the world came up with to save humanity. Right. Oh, I remember that too. But the Gopher Project, didn't it fail? What? <gasps> Is that true? That's true. That's true, or that's what I heard too, but I can't remember why. What's that mean? So, so, so we can't remember anything past that again? Uh, okay. I can't remember either. I don't remember anything about the gopher. <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation. Huh? Mew. <laughs> <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation. Fuck that! What the fuck's going we on? We are already damned here! Being stuck here with you losers is the worst hell there is! You. The you losers part wasn't necessary. Shut up! I'm tired of this! Let us out of here! Let us out! Come on! Please don't leave us in here! Pull us out! Seems like... That's... Muse in... Okay. I... Her demeanor is definitely interesting. She seems really upset. What happened? Mew, calm down. It's okay. Gonta will protect you. In the end, the flashback like didn't help it didn't connect any other memories. The ultimate hunt that was after us. The joint funeral. The meteorites. The cult organization. The Gopher Project. How are these all connected? How do they relate to the Ultimate Academy? And what happened with all of those meteorites? Did they just stop? Shuichi. <laughs> It'll be okay, Shuichi. Just a little huh? more. What? See? We probably need one more. Everything will start to connect after we remember one more thing. One more thing. What is Kokichi? But... but I don't think it would be surprised by the outcome of this, Shuichi. Like, if we're actually all dead, what if this is the afterlife? Uh, the afterlife? Always Why, around. you quit saying stupid crap like that! 
I'm not stupid. If meteorites can happen, then anything else can happen too, right? Because... Come on, you're an astronaut, aren't you? Space is full of mysteries that we can't even fathom. Well, you know. That's why the meteorites did really did fall on us. Anything could have happened. A mysterious virus could have spread. Some weird technology. <laughs> even an unknown substance brought to Earth that could have been bent to time and space. Yeah. That's like science fiction. I thought the theme was magic. Uh, that's just your theme, Himiko. Seriously? Psh, Come on. That's just stupid. It's like setting or setting for a, a some or just like the setting for some third-rate anime or game. Uh, do you think I'm making this up, or do you think? It, you, but then, how would you explain the flashback lights, the exosols, and even Monokuma? We may even be used to it now, but. That kind of stuff goes against common sense, you know. <laughs> Which means it wouldn't be too far-fetched if any of these things I mentioned could actually happen. Shut up! Shut up! First off, I am only one here who gets to talk about space. My bad. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. What did I do? Whatever, hurry up so I can get out of here! Wait. Stop, you shouldn't think like that about getting out of here. <sighs> Everyone. Seems very tired. We should probably disperse for the time being. <laughs> oh, you finally learned to read the air. Uh, nice job, robot. I'll commit that to my memory bank. I'm learning every day. Hey. Oh, before you go, Gonta put manhole cover back how it was. Cause Gonta gentle. If we want to challenge the underground again, this time Gonta definitely. You're so dumb. <laughs> no one is dumb enough to attempt that challenge again. Shut up. Don't look down on hard work. Yeah. Himiko, you've really changed, mm -hmm. is what I'd like to say, but working hard is escaping from, or working hard escaping from there is pointless. Uh, well, no matter how much you've changed, of course you would think that. We can't keep going like this. We need to find a way out. I need to solve all of these mysteries. After our conversation, we return to our rooms. And with that, it's probably nighttime. Because I'm sure we're not getting free time. That would make no sense. It's no use. Damn it. I don't understand what's going on here. But I can't give up. I need to keep my promise to Kaede and find the truth. What's happening to us? Why we were forced to play this killing game? Anyway. I've still got some time today, but... I've still got time to today and I can't stay still. Not now. <laughs> okay, never mind. We are getting free time. I thought we were going to go to night time. Anyway... Then, if we are getting free time, that's a perfect time to end this episode. So thank you guys so very much for watching this episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And in the next episode, we're going to get some free time. Don't know with whom yet. Could be many people. Uh, but we will see you guys then.